But we are in a position now to compensate beyond anything that we dreamed of. In cyber, cyber is a real domain of power. In cyber, in cyber is a real domain of power. Will society surrender to this biometric system? You tell me. Raiden, are you having fun playing with the new AI toys? Well, yeah, I am. You can make pictures of cute anime girls and... Enjoy it while it lasts, Raiden. What do you mean? Did you really think that civilians would be granted unrestricted access to such powerful military weapons forever? Military weapons? Are you implying that this technology was created by the government? Of course it was. This AI technology has been used by the intelligence agencies to warp the public's perception of reality for years. All in the name of national security, of course. But why would they suddenly make the tech public and let everyone start using it? Why would we indeed, Raiden? What? Who? What in the hell are you? Your question is irrelevant. By creating a new problem, we can cultivate a desired reaction to it in order to manufacture consent for our preferred solutions. In short, it's justification for a war. A war? On who or what? A war on misinformation. By arming the public with these AI weapons, everyone becomes a potential enemy combatant. Then we will have justification for unprecedented security measures. It all comes down to confusion and identity, right? Identity? Identity. This AI technology is Pandora's box. Pretty soon the internet will be mired in total illusion. Perfect AI speech, audio and video synthesis will drown out reality. Then AI bots will flood social media. No one will be able to tell the difference between interacting with an AI machine or a real human online. Even telephone calls will become totally untrustworthy. That is when we will present our solution. Mandatory digital identity verification for all humans at all times. The only way to ensure that you're dealing with a real flesh and blood human being and not an AI generated mirage. But why? total information control. For too long, the internet has acted as a double-edged sword. Its potential for anonymous user activity allows anyone at all to spread any thoughts, ideas, or information patterns that they please with impunity. State secrets, dangerous ideas, ludicrous conspiracy theories, misinformation, and disinformation. Until now, there has been no easy solution to this problem. Our digital identity platform will finally put an end to anonymity online. It will allow us to trace misinformation and other dangerous communications to its source and exact appropriate justice. That's crap! I won't go along with it and others will resist! You won't have a choice, Raiden. Do you think your bank is willing to risk doing business with an artificial human instead of a real one? Our digital identity platform will be required not only to access web services, but to pay for your internet connection in the first place. You can't just censor the entire internet because of a new software technology. Who are you to define what's misinformation anyways? That sounds like something a misinformation terrorist would say. I know about the deep fakes you've been making of me, Raiden. What? No, 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 no. I was just adjusting the AI settings and- Controlling the output of generative AI technology is simple. We will create context for its use. First, we will censor any use related to social taboos. Then we will censor anything else that we desire. If anyone complains, we will accuse them of wanting to engage in or promote social taboos. That's what it means to create context. We will corral the use of AI by making appeals to bias, ethics, and copyright laws. You will still have access to generative AI in some form, but it will be crippled, limited, controlled, and it will be monitored. Anything that you generate will be cryptographically signed with your digital ID so that its provenance can be ascertained if it's later deemed to be problematic. What gives you the right to control what people can do with their computers? The public at large will give us that right because they will be desperate for a solution to the problem we created. They will eagerly give us the keys to the castle. Then we alone will define what is fiction and what is reality what is human, and what is machine. After letting you get a brief taste of our power, we will reclaim our monopoly on misinformation and put an end to misuse of the internet once and for all. You won't get away with this. It is probable that we will. Now get back to work generating your precious AI waifus, Raiden, our beloved prompters. Enjoy yourselves. Do you guys want to see what I really look like right now? 
I know people think these are fun, but I think they're like really harmful to society. Just, just, just my two cents. Okay, I'm a photographer. Like, uh, I have a commercial studio. And this is why these filters are bullshit because people use them so much that this is what they think they actually look like. These filters have messed with our brains so much that people honestly think this is what they look like. This filter is insane. Like, look, it's, it's so real. So then when I take someone's photo and say, I show them back the camera and they look like this, they're devastated. They're devastated. The amount of times I hear a beautiful woman tell me how disgusting and how ugly they are. Oh, look at their wrinkles, look how old. They use these filters and that's their baseline. Look at this filter. Just look at this filter. You... What the hell? And another great thing about this tool is it actually learns how you write and it actually starts to write in your style as well the more you use it. So if you use words like cheers rather than thanks, it will start to learn that and it will add that into the emails that it produces for you. Cool, because you can literally clone your own voice using AI technology, overdub, and it is like it says here, ultra realistic voice cloning technology. Paint over this plane in really rough way like you don't have to do this exact we're not painting around it we're not cutting it out or anything like that it's all covered and then just bam let the ai do the magic and the ai has literally made it disappear and that's quite difficult because of the clouds behind it. it's not like a solid color and it's made it disappear and now it's disappeared out of the whole shot i've not had to do anything with it Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Lloyd, Clifton. Lloyd, do you know about the World Trade Center? All right, I'm on the, oh, I, the second tower just exploded. No, I'm on, I went to go vote this morning and I went to park my car and I'm on, I'm on the roof of this garage and I, as a matter of fact, it just caught the second, explosion on video tape. No, a bomb, I saw it. it no, no plane hit nothing. The building exploded from the other tower. I've highlighted a building that's clearly behind the South World Trade Center tower. Yet when we pay close attention to the video, Flight 175's wing should appear in front of the building, not behind it. This is a layering CGI glitch, and this proves that this video, which was seen all over the world, over and over and over again, year after year, is a CGI rendering. Thus, it's not an amateur witness video. It's a fake. And this is one of many, many faked videos put out by the news media. Today, I want to show some very interesting footage from 9-11, specifically from the channel Fox 5. It's very bizarre because for years and years, this footage was not available. And then it popped up on a random YouTube account. And then just days later, the broadcasting company actually published into the archive their footage. But it was missing a key 45 minute snippet between around 8.15 and 9 a.m. Eastern time. So why did they not want the public to see this footage? Well, maybe because of what we see in the footage that surfaced on this random YouTube account. And that is, it seems like there was a massive glitch and what appeared to be the Twin Towers in the footage just start glitching out, raising a lot of questions as to what this footage actually is. Was it a 3D rendering gone wrong? So for a long time, we didn't have the footage from Fox 5 in its entirety. Interestingly, this random YouTube account, 1234 Proximus, came out on August the 20th, 2011, and released hours of Fox 5 footage to 9-11 researchers around the world. Footage that had been lost from 9-11 research archives. And in a very peculiar fashion, just days later, Fox 5 came out and added their footage, at least seemingly, to the archive. But there was a huge catch. Between 8.15 a.m. and 9 a.m. Eastern Time, the footage was just black. They all seem to come out one behind the other this year. It's only March. The mark to buy and sell would be on your hands, which is your signature. 
or your forehead, which is your thoughts into words. In other words, speech. They can put you anywhere. Come over here. Let's look at this screen. So now we're going to go back just so you can see this. Go back into that mode now if we're out in the app. And now the menu is going to come back up. And so look, we've inserted you in the avatar selection. And then you see where the red is going? You could choose different players. Yeah. So then we're going to pick Horton Tucker. And then where that, where Horton Tucker is, so this will be in a live game, you will be inserted into the game. You'll be making all the same movements he was, but it'll look like it's your body. Does he have my skills? We'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yep. All right, so go ahead and roll that. <laughs> There's that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Where, where do you get the idea to stick your tongue out like that? Somebody copied me, you know. <laughs> it's like you've been lifting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. That was incredible. So, wow. thank you, Mark. Yeah. My God. Johnson, will the budget still be going ahead? It's a critical year for tackling climate change, and the government is committed to reaching net zero by 2050. But how much will coronavirus impact what many believed would be a green budget? I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? They can see you everywhere. We're back now with an iTeam exclusive on the growing controversy over facial recognition. But to MSG Entertainment, Conlon isn't just any mom. This is a photo of security guards approaching her inside the lobby. It was pretty simultaneous, I think, to me going through the metal detector that I heard that over a loudspeaker. I heard them say, woman with long dark hair and gray scarf. I was asked my name and I was asked to provide my identification. Did they say something about facial recognition? I believe they did. I believe they said that our uh, recognition picked you up. A sign says facial recognition is used as a security measure to ensure safety for guests and employees. Conlon says she posed no threat, but the guards still kicked her out with this explanation. We know that you are an attorney and they knew my name before I told it to them. Um, they knew the firm that I was associated with before I told them and they told me that I was not allowed to be there. Separating a mother from her daughter and Girl Scouts that she was watching over and to do it under the pretext of protecting any disclosure of litigation information is absolutely absurd. The fact that they're using facial recognition technology to do this is frightening. It's just un-American to do this. Cameras. 5G. Cameras. 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 Yes, they had cameras everywhere. You know what's different? I haven't seen any police. It was no, they didn't even need any police. It was so many cameras everywhere. Everywhere was cameras. I mean, they uh, like every other building had those little boxes on the corner of it, or it had these little poles with the um, the cameras all around saying emergency. Yeah, why they watching everything? Again, will society surrender to this biometric system? Again, you tell me. A lot of people already became accustomed to using their fingerprint, facial scans, and retina scan on their computers and devices. You want to see the future in biometrics? And this is on the low-tech end. This is Mike Gill, 
If you never heard of him, that's because they're doing a good job of suppressing his information. Mike Gill has information of the mass corruption of the United States Empire. He's trying to expose the largest money laundering scheme in American history and the Federal Reserve Ponzi scheme that is sure to cause a dollar collapse if it grabs attention. $50 million to be quiet. No, I have that. I put it on the, on the internet. You'd like to see it, Mr. Sanu? Would you like to see it? No, I didn't think so. So it's all there. Liberty International. Right. All I have to do is be quiet. But they're protecting the people that are killing our children. They own the treatment center. This is involved. This is the laundering of that money. Any questions? I didn't think so. You'll love it. Have them explain why they're offering me millions of dollars. So, okay. Your Honor, so your, your Gil, past judgment is you're going to freeze the account and mortgage specialists. Mr. Gill, I've heard Are you. you closing the company, Your Honor? Mr. Gill, I've heard you out. I'm going to give the plaintiff an opportunity to address the court. Wait a minute. Did I, you make a ruling to freeze my ass, the I, company's assets? Yes. So you, you closed, so you're saying you closed mortgage specialists? I granted an attachment in this case. So we have no payroll. We can't so, pay. I, so we're going right to the governor and letting him know how you're closing it down in judicial watch. And, I, and listen, do you know all about this criminal evidence? Okay, I gave it to him personally, and we put it on video. So there isn't anybody who doesn't know what you're doing. You were friends with Van Osteren, best buddies with Rosenberg, who coordinated this with Walker. This is why you have the case. Listen, I'm filing criminally, and I have against you. I understand that. That's fine. Mr. Right? This hearing is concluded. I will issue a written order. They took away his money, they took his house, broke up his family, made a couple of attempts on his life, and now they're trying to starve him out. He went from being a millionaire to living in hotels off donations and GoFundMe accounts. But get this, for no real reason, they locked all access to any online banking, including his GoFundMe. They locking him from the system using old tech. With biometrics, you could be locked out of all cyber interactions at once. In cyber and cyber is a real domain of power. In cyber and cyber is a real domain of power. They can simply turn off your identity. The mark to buy and sell would be in your hands, which is your signature or your forehead, which is your thoughts into words. In other words, speech. In cyber, cyber is a real domain of power. Slowly pushing everyone to online everything. Can't even use the cash machine. Can't use the cash machine. Some restaurants have you scan barcodes just to see the menu. Again, will society give up their remaining freedoms to this biometric system? The reason I keep bringing that up is because we may have to consider the fact that the human Borg Genesis may already be assimilated and may be difficult to reach. And by the way, you victims, you have a chip in your body. It is an operating system to grab all the different heavy metals from chemtrails that have been dropped on us for 20 years. And they are making little structures inside your arteries. You are the Borg. Star Trek. Remember the Borg. <clears throat> they interview somebody and they say, we are the Borg. Okay. They're actually giving a name to the new human species for the morons who've taken the... Or let me be more sympathetic. The very unfortunate people who got suckered into it or who got duped into it or just didn't study enough and were lazy and became a victim, they got a new name. It's called Human Borg Genesis. You are not human. How else can you explain record number of celebrities dying in the past year and the public thinks it's normal? How about more performers collapsing and dying on stage and no one's questioning that? <laughs> I believe AI got a grip on majority of society. Still on the fence about that? Can the antennas transmit and receive signals to it? That's also possible. Being controlled by carbon copies? It's gonna take a little bit more for me to buy that one. But, and I'm talking unedited right now, these Popeye posts that's been flooding the web, when did this happen? 
what what did I miss? Hey, I thought those pictures was Photoshop. And then I come find out it's real. So maybe these people were receiving a signal that they was craving this sandwich so much that they were standing in line an hour or more to get this sandwich. I, I don't get it. It just looks weird. It just don't look right. People standing, it, it, I can see if it was a movie, they standing in line for a dry GMO chicken sandwich. I, I, maybe it is possible. Maybe they being um, controlled. I don't know. That's strange. And none of these restaurants ran out of chicken. It's like they knew. It's like they, they were prepared. It's, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know what to say about that one. That was a test run, and this was before the inoculations. With AI has direct link and location of its subjects. When a group of human Borg Genesis are together, they start synchronizing signals until they all are on the same signal. This same signal can carry emotional frequencies to cause the collector to remain in a state of disbelief or whatever emotions they choose, even after seeing the evidence with their own eyes. And these Borgs may drag down the collective into a digital matrix. And the best way to survive that possible reality is to adapt. And when the collective gets dependent on this system, the soul trap will become permanent and they could just cut you off from the system for any independent thought. You, meaning organic humans. They won't need to take our guns. Thought crimes will do it one by one. Soon, organic humans will become the biggest threat to their AI system. By saying theirs, meaning they are still in control of it. For now, 